So yesterday I reported that Viktor Sokolov, the Admiral of the Black Sea Fleet, had been killed. I did that only after checking and making sure, double checking, triple checking, major news outlets were reporting that. Felt fairly confident. This morning I woke up to find that Viktor Sokolov may be alive. We're not exactly sure. The Russians are claiming that he was in a video conference this morning. Now, whether that was an elaborate hoax, we know that the Russians lie or not, I can't quite tell. I'm not sure exactly what to believe. But I do know this, if it was a hoax, then it's going nowhere. Like, what do you do next month or the month after? Or does he just mysteriously disappear? I, I'm not going to argue that it's a hoax. Maybe he is still alive. We just don't know. In fact, I'm going to say for the record, I don't know. But I was going on the best news that we had available. All the major news media outlets got it wrong. Reuters was reporting this morning what I just told you, as was a number of other reputable news sources. So you need to get your, your news from news so reputable news sources and not just, I just saw it on Twitter or something along those lines. Now you can see it on Twitter first and then go to news sources, but you need to do it that way in order to be as safe as possible. But even if you do that, sometimes you're gonna get it wrong. Right now, I'm not sure even what to believe. Is he alive? Is he dead? I don't know, it, it, but that doesn't take away from everything else that I reported yesterday about his background. He replaced the guy that was the, the commander that was relieved after the Moskva. Uh, they hit um, the Black Sea headquarters in the middle of the day. They hit it with Storm Shadow missiles. They haven't been able to knock down Storm Shadow missiles. Was he hit? He, he was there, but he appears that maybe he's still alive. All that is still true, except that fact that he was killed. I don't know what to believe, but I'll track down the story and I'll keep at it. So I'm putting this a kind of retraction because I'm not sure exactly what it is, but if I was wrong in that reporting, I need to retract it. And so I'm kind of retracting until I have further evidence to show, yes, it's this or yes, it's that, but I'm saying I can get it wrong. So unless your sources can say I can get it wrong, you, they might be questionable. And that's something that is a good lesson to take as well. All right. Thank you for your time. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you for giving me the benefit of the doubt because I'm doing my best to try to bring you context in the war in Ukraine.